Something a little bit different in this video, so 3D Connections that makes the Space Mouse range has asked me to take a look at one or two of their items because Pixelogic recently made ZBrush compatible with their full range and they're amazing pieces of equipment if you want to navigate in 3D space. So for me, that's obviously what I'm all about and I spend most of my time navigating 3D space so why wouldn't I take them up on the offer to take a look at the hardware. So this review is all about some of their items and hopefully you can get something of how I use this kind of hardware in my day-to-day -day work. Trying out the 3D connection range has really opened my eyes to a new way of 3D navigation. I've been modeling since 1991 and although I've used a space mouse with CAD software many times, I hadn't realized how liberating it could be with digital sculpting software. Pixelogic's made that possible by making ZBrush compatible with the 3D connection range, and that's a smart move. ZBrush is the industry standard software for digital sculpting and painting, and it's currently in version 2021.6. Digital sculpting is very different from established CAD and polygonal modeling techniques. It gives you the ability to manipulate polygons as if they were clay, and it's very organic and naturalistic and a very fluid way to create. You can add clay, smooth it, rake it, add surfaces and flatten areas, you can sculpt creations with surface features and even then paint the end result. These models can then be used in a wide range of projects from things like game, film, TV, 3D print, automotive, fashion, toy design and even jewellery. I've been using and teaching ZBrush for over 20 years now and I think I've been using the same type of input hardware the whole time. My two main setups are a keyboard with a Wacom Intuos tablet and a stylus pen and more recently a Wacom Cintiq, which is a display device, and again with a stylus pen. In a recent upgrade, Pixelogic, the company behind ZBrush, added the ability to use hardware made by 3D Connection, including their Space Mouse range. The real power in these products is the 3D Connection controller cap. That gives you the 3D Connection's patented six degrees of freedom. Uh, that's the essence of using this hardware and it's the controller that allows you to manipulate the geometry and pretty much move it in any direction or orientation in 3D space. Gripping the controller you simply twist, push, pull, you can tilt the controller cap and move and orientate your model in all different directions. And this is all just done with your non-dominant hand leaving the other hand free to use a standard mouse or in my case the Wacom stylus. And just a point to know, I'm left-handed, and that becomes pertinent a little bit later. So there's three products in that range um, that I was really interested in. Space Mouse Enterprise, Space Mouse Pro, and the Space Mouse Compact. And the latter two have wireless versions, making a combination of five altogether. I only tried the first two, but at the end of the review, I'll tell you why I'll be buying a few of the wireless compact models for the studio. Firstly, let's look at the leader of the pack, and that's the Space Mouse Enterprise. This sci-fi looking gadget's got 12 programmable buttons. It's got a display screen with relevant icons that change per application. There's 19 more keys and a central controller, as I've already mentioned. Secondly, there's the Space Mouse Pro and a Space Mouse Pro Wireless offering the same controller cap at its heart, but with fewer buttons and there's no screen with that one. Finally, the last one in the lineup and one I didn't get to look at is the Space Mouse Compact or the Space Mouse Compact Wireless. It's pretty much the 3D connection controller cap in isolation. And as I mentioned at the start, I'm not going to review this model. Getting the software from the 3D connection site is just a couple of clicks and there's just no learning curve. It's so easy. I installed the drivers and they work just as described. I rebooted my machine and my devices were all up and running hassle-free. 3D Connection advises you to follow their trainer tutorial which is available from the installed software. In a matter of minutes I was up and running, panning, rotating, zooming in and out, getting the feel for how much I needed to press, push or pull. At first I was really heavy handed with it, things moved a little bit too quickly but in under 5 minutes I felt like I was ready to dive right into ZBrush. The great thing is that ZBrush comes pre-configured with the Space Mouse hardware so that 
all the shortcuts I love were already installed, so I dive right in. Normally, when I use ZBrush, I navigate the 3D space using the Wacom pen and the keyboard. To rotate around, I can drag anywhere away from the model. To pan and zoom, I need to hold Alt and Control and then click the pen. And it's not a hard sequence to learn, but within a few seconds of using the space mouse, you realize that navigation functions, they've moved now to your non-dominant hand and that you're freed up from key pressing. And that really is liberating. The 3D connection controller cap experience is pretty amazing with any model. In the first session, I became very confident and settled into a very different way of manipulating my models. Oddly, after 20 years of doing it one way, it didn't feel as alien as I thought it would be doing it the 3D connection way. Of course, there are some parts of the navigation where you do need a key press. For example, if you want to snap a model to the orthographic view, you're going to need to hold down shift as you rotate. ZBrush then snaps to the nearest view. And this is easy to achieve on the 3D connection models that I try mainly because Alt, Control and Shift all lie to the left of the controller cap and they're well within finger reach. This surprised me a little bit as the combination suited me perfectly and I'm left-handed. Something I'm going to follow up with my right-handed colleagues, I guess. I used the Space Mouse Enterprise for about a week in a production environment. I ended up sculpting a couple of dinosaurs, some environment texture work, lots of random bits of sculpting and technical work. I opened and tried some older models to see how they would perform. I still had to go to the keyboard for certain tasks that hadn't been mapped onto the space mouse, such as lowering the resolution of a sub tool, but I didn't find that bothersome really as ZBrush, it's a very complex program with hundreds of buttons and features. So which model is right for ZBrush? During the review, I used the Space Mouse Enterprise and the Space Mouse Pro Wireless. I quickly decided which version was going to suit my needs. So the Space Mouse Enterprise with its 12 configurable keys and screen is just outstanding. There's just enough keys to keep me from reaching for the keyboard and I didn't have enough time to configure the whole experience, but the defaults work well enough out of the box. The Space Mouse Pro gives me the same experience but it just didn't have enough keys to keep me away from the keyboard. I did enjoy the model with Photoshop where I use a lot fewer keyboard commands. This leads me to the Space Mouse Compact and the wireless version. I didn't get these to try but I'm assuming that they give the same controller cap experience and I'll definitely be looking into adding one of these to all of my PCs in the studio. Navigating in 3D space with the 3D connection hardware is really something special. Having this model on all machines is going to be a huge benefit. At the time of writing, if you visit the 3D Connection website that I've linked in the description down below, you can take advantage of uh, a little offer that they have running with Space Mouse and ZBrush. And if you can, uh, if you're looking for more specifications and more details on the 3D Connection range, then you'll find it all in the links down below.